Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the second payday budget of November. So in the last video when I did my check-in you'll see that I have some overspends um, in three categories. So in this budget we're going to have to um, you know, offset those overspends but that means that we're going to have to reduce our spending in other areas as well um, which is not ideal um, but yeah, so this is what's going to be um, shown in this payday budget uh, video. So all of the products you see in this video, um, will you can purchase from my Etsy shop if you're interested. So, without further ado, this is my grey marble binder. I have these in a, a, a range of different colours and inside it here I have my payday budget planner. So I'm moving on to the second payday budget of the month as I mentioned. So I'm going to move that up and then I'm going to zoom you guys in. So um, the first thing we do is mark down the date. So it's the 10th of November and our income this week is going to be Robert. So it's always Robert. <laughs> so he, um, we put in his um, income here and then we'll get the total that we have to budget with for this um, paycheck. So the first area that I deal with is pay yourself first. So this is if you're working on an emergency fund, if you're working on a house deposit, if you have any investments, something that's going to help you in the future is what goes in this area first um, because that is going to help you. So you um, put that first and um, then continue on with the rest of your budget. For us, it is a house deposit. So if you've been following us for a while, you've known we've been saving for a while for a house deposit. So 100 euros this week is going to go towards the house deposit. And that's all we plan to put into that area. Next up, we have the essential expenses. So once you find out what is remaining um, after you take out your uh, pay yourself first, you can move on to the rest of your budget. So... Um, for essential expenses, it's stuff like rent, your heating, your electricity, clothing, medical, that sort of stuff, food, um, that will keep you warm, safe and healthy. Um, and they are the, you know, the basics of your budget. So our rent, um, we're going to put some money towards that. Then we have utilities. So we have, um, we have a sinking fund or for our utilities, so like a little saving pot for our utilities and every single week we put 20 euros in there. Then we have our food budget, so our grocery. Um, we always give 100 euros to groceries. Next off, we have our fuel. So fuel to get us to and from work and school and that sort of stuff for putting 40 euros. Then we have clothing. So you might not need new clothes now, but um, in the chance that you will at some stage, you just put a little bit of money aside so that when that time comes, you don't have to you know, worry about where the money is going to come from. And then medical, um, everybody needs some sort of money um, towards medical. Um, and we are going to put 21 52 um, so usually we put 10 euros but because we had an overspend last week um, that's where the extra money comes from there so already we even in our first category we've overspent from last week so we have to make an adjustment for this week next off we have is the annual cost so these are things that come around every single year um, so we have insurance for our car and our motorbike um, and we just have, a, again, a savings pot for that and we put five euros into there. We have road tax and an annual car test that we have to pay for and again, five euro goes in there. We have like the repair kind of fund for the car and the motorbike and uh, we put 10 euros in there. Christmas is obviously something that we celebrate and do every single year. So it's full for this year. So we have um we're just kind of topping it up with five euros we have ava's school and um, this is just gonna be two euros and then birthdays and gifts we're just gonna uh top that up with five euros so when you add them all together you get 32 euros if you have debt this is the area 
um, that it will come out of your budget. So we don't have any debt, but if we did, that is where we would um, work those numbers. We have some nice things then that we pay for. Um, so these are, if you're stuck in a bit of a um, financial crunch, these are the areas that you will cut back on um, or cut out altogether. Everything else and the nice things. These are the first two areas that you look at. Um, and then you go and you look at your bills. Um, so like, let's say your utility bills, you know, you might change supplier, that sort of thing. Like you look at your bills and you try to get the best deals that you can. So 875 on our broadband and then mine and Robert Mobile's phone. Um, two different companies, but we have really good plans and we just put five euro per week towards those. So then we have household. So that's just a kind of a, I keep that in cash inside my wallet in case I want to buy something for the house. And we're going to put 15 euros into there. So mine and Robert's. Uh, personal money that we take every week usually we buy um, lunch with it on a Friday again this is an area where last week it was overspent so we're gonna put 2570 there just to cover that overspend um, dining out was definitely an area last week that we overspent we overspent a lot um, by 50 something euro so um, we're gonna put 5608 in there and that should cover it so then we have the gym and uh, it's 1225 so when you add all of the nice things up together you get 122 euro 79 cent and then if you've any money left you move on to everything else um, so for us, we usually have a lot of challenges. So if we go back to last week, you'll see we had swimming, dancing, 400 glasses, wedding, holiday, fiver challenge, and a night away. So these are all the ones we have. But for this week, um, because of the overspends in other areas, we're not going to do as many. So we're gonna do the 400 challenge. And uh, we're gonna put 15. We're gonna do glasses. Ava actually has an appointment with the optician again later this month, so um, I'm 100% sure she needs new glasses and um, because her frame, well, new frames anyways, because um, her frames are too small for her face. Then we have the weddings that we have for next year. Um, 10 euros and then our holiday for next year is getting 15 euros and that's it it's just the four of them instead of the usual one two three four five six seven eight sometimes seven or eight um so that's 50 euro that we're putting in there so that should leave us with a tiny little bit that i use towards a buffer um just for some overspends like if it's only kind of two or three euros and um, if there is a buffer i can um you know use that um so we have to kind of build a buffer up again because we did use it in previous weeks so that is our budget for last week or for this coming week should i say um so again i'm covering those overspends that we had um in our check-in that i would have done in the last video um, and it's important that you do that. You don't let that build up. You just kind of have to cut back on other areas in order to get yourself back on an even playing field. So that is it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please do come back because I'm going to do a cash envelope stuffing it for my next video. And um, thank you again to everybody. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.